helps to do is that it helps to tell your prospective investor that you've actually done your research and that you have this thing really sorted out. Because if you don't have an idea of the size of the market you're looking at, how would you have an idea of when you will break even? In the business plan, there's a break even point, right? Yeah. You bring it in your business plan. So how would you have an idea of when you will break even? If you don't have an idea of the number of persons that will patronize, you won't know. Next slide. Sometimes it could be a hypothesis. Sometimes it could be a hypothesis. Based on certain factors, you can make an informed guess. So it doesn't mean it must be an exact figure. But based on certain indicators, which will make sense to anybody that will hear you. So you can make an informed guess that based on X, Y, Z, this is what you're likely looking at. For example, let's use somebody's business as an example. Who have we not talked about his or her business? Is there anybody who have not talked about your business? We can use your business as an, as an example and illustrate and maybe work with it. Anybody? Okay, we have all talked about all of your businesses. Is it the existing business or proposed business? Whether existing or proposed. The one the one you are presenting is what I'm talking about. Whether okay. whether it is existing or proposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you that came up with something it was the best chance. Me? Yes. Okay, I uh, based on your recommendations yesterday, I made some amendments. Okay. So I'll be offering effective and reliable tutorial services to students in the on academic institutions in real estate. That's the third one. Well, on on, on so all the sorry, sorry. I have to have just, 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 uh, have, did, did you say all the <laughs> academic institutions? Yes, because we uh, yes no 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 all right yes in River State in River State yes okay mm -hmm. so that means you have an idea of the number of academic institutions in River State yes I do so. For, for him, having a side of the market is very easy. So, if you have to calculate the size of your market, what, how will you do that? I will check the number of students. Very easy. Since he knows the number of institutions, and getting the number of students in the particular institution is actually easy, yeah. you know? Yes, right. It's very easy. So that means the size of the market he's looking at is actually easy to have an idea of. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, the size of the market. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Then inside that number, of course, everybody in the, all these institutions will not patronize. Yeah, yes. So inside that number, you begin to look at what the addressable market is in that total number you're looking at. What the, the people who may likely be able to you know, um, patronize this service, right? So you get an idea of, of what we're talking about now. So with his own, it's just straightforward for him. Okay, next slide. So you have the primary research, the secondary research. You know, when we're talking about the um, Monday, even yesterday, when we're looking at the design thinking um, strategy to come up with your business concepts, we kept talking about going out of the building instead of saying the building and just um, putting everything together in your brain we say go out and talk to your primary market talk to your primary market so when you're doing your market research you have your primary research you have your secondary research so your primary data is first-hand information from the original sources so from the persons who likely fit into your target market. Getting first-hand information from them is your primary data. And you could ask them questions, either directly, verbally, or on surveys and interviews, social groups, and all of that. 
it could be it can also be through observation. Yeah. 